For several days now, while standing at the bus stop, I've been seeing this man walking with a little boy. You know, the little boy is in khaki, him going to school, and him walking with this man who looks like his father. And for several days, I've been watching them. You know, it's a nice little image with this man in my jeans, pants, in white t-shirt, and him walking this little boy. You know, who decked in him khaki and him lunch bag and him little bag. You know, and they're going off to school. And for several mornings, I've just watched them and, you know, they're just walking, caught up in conversation. The man holding the little boy's hand and, you know, the little boy is always telling him something. And I just, as, as I watched them, I just thought to myself, like, you know, it's so amazing. And I said to myself, you know, this father, he could not even begin to understand the positive impact that he's having on his child's life. And every single morning as they pass me at the bus stop and things always are happening as I'm standing up at the bus stop and just looking. You know, they're always talking. He's always telling him something. And as I looked at them, there was something. And, oh, I thought about writing an article. You know, I said, I'm going to write about this or post it, put a post somewhere. And as I watched them, there was something new that came through to me. The purpose for that father taking his child to school. You know, the father has to take his child to school, hold him by his hand and take him to school because of the stage of his development, because of where he is at in his growth right now. So of course, the child is young, the child looks about five or six. Of course, because of where he, he is, because of his immaturity, he cannot walk by himself. So the father has to take him. And I just thought about it and I was just like, you know, wow. And I thought about it, of course, in the context of our relationship with God. That it's the same way when we begin a journey with Him that, you know, He holds on to us. He doesn't expect us to walk by ourselves. You know, He holds us hand in hand, walking with us, talking with us. You know, He looks out for the little, the dangers that are there. And, you know, He, he helps us to move along because of where we are. And the purpose of it is to help us to grow. And sometimes you're going through that point where you feel, feel as if God is not there. And trust me, I know how I feel. I have been there. I'm sure I have several more valleys I'm going to go through. But, you know, you're going through that point where you feel as if God has stepped away and you're there by yourself and you feel all alone. He never leaves. He never leaves. And even if you're in that moment where you feel as if you're in it, by yourself there is a purpose for whatever it is that you're going through if you're going through pain right now there is a purpose for that pain and just as Claudine Givens had given her sermon at my church a few days ago and she said that you know the things that you're going through it is for the glory of God and it is true we may not understand it right now but in time we will get more clarity so that is just something that I wanted to share in this blog. Thanks to everybody who, you know, who have been supporting over the years. And be sure to visit our website www.orevidence.com. And it's right there. Thank you.